perceptions. In 1966, um, we lost the pound and we converted into dollars, pounds and dollars. The pound was a weighted note uh, on silver, it was um, equivalent to one pound of silver. So it was a, a monetary system that uh, operated on actual weights of metal, um, shillings and um, pennies and and what have you, uh, florins, whatever it was. It was all based on an amount of silver and the pound note was a uh, representation of one pound of silver. So you could take the pound note in and redeem it for one pound of silver. In 1966, um, that changed from a dollar, from a pound to a, a promissory note system like the, the US Federal Reserve promissory note system. But something else changed in 1966 as well. And what happened was um, our schools removed grammar and Latin from the schools in 1966. So prior to that, we at school we learned grammar and Latin. And Latin were the roots of the English language, or many of the roots of the English language. So, uh, and my father used to call Latin the math of English. And uh, when, in 1966, when the school um, got rid of Latin and, and grammar out of the curriculum, my father bitterly complained to the school and said that uh, the students will become illiterate. They won't know how to read if you take those things out of the, um, the curriculum. Well, I'm going to show you exactly what's happened. It's strange that this happened in 1966 too, when the uh, the pound went to the dollar and grammar and um, Latin were removed from the schools. <laughs> so it's funny that that is. But I'm going to uh, just show you just how stupid and dumbed down Australians have become in a grammatical perception or in a, in a grammatical sense. I'm going to write Commonwealth of Australia in three different formats and you will be able to read the whole three of them or you will assume you can read the three of them but I'm just, after I've done this I'll just explain the difference between the three of them okay first let's write it in English read that, Commonwealth of Australia. Now let's write it in ancient Latin, and this is going to be strange, not many people are aware of this or aware that, it, that it's relevant today, but ancient Latin is the official language of the Vatican. That's, that's strange too, isn't it? So I'll write that. Okay, same words. Commonwealth of Australia, written in an ancient Latin style text. And we have here, which is the two hyphens in between the three signs or the three words. Now I'm going to write something in dog Latin. And dog Latin is um, a corruption of the essence of the text. It's also known as um, the text or the Latin for the illiterate. So it's a, it's a language that's used by illiterate people that uh, can't read. They don't know what's going on. This is, I'll, read the, I'll write the same words. I'll write the same words.
English? Ancient Latin with the hyphens and dog Latin. The Latin for the illiterate, the people that can't read. Now, English, now these are all three very um, recognized languages. But the thing about the, uh, the grammatical standing of these three types of written language is that they don't have any jurisdiction with each other on the one document. So if you've got a page of text and it contains English and contains Dog Latin, there is no correspondence between those two languages written on that paper. And that's the reason why when the currency of our nation of our country was changed from a weighted silver, which was a de jure or real money, into a promissory note type of a money, which is based on the United States Federal Reserve promissory notes, which is really called a company scrip or uh, internal accounting notes. That's all it is, internal banking notes. Uh, after that happened in 1966, they removed the grammar and the Latin from the school in order that the people start to assume that this is English. Now, you know something's wrong with that. If you saw that written everywhere and you saw a hyphen in between the words, even if you didn't know your, um, your Latin and your grammar, you would instantly know, well, that doesn't look right. There's something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It is another language. But when you read this here, Commonwealth of Australia without the hyphens. You will assume that to be English. And that mistake that has deliberately been allowed for you to do is actually what destroys you from standing as a true Australian, a national law being a part of the real Australia into coming down here into being a foreign citizen of a private foreign bank. But all of the Australians that are in here, such as the Queensland police, the government, all the government workers and all that, they believe 